Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the light switch on your refrigerator. That's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse, and then we'll be ready to do the repair. So next, we're going to open up the refrigerator, and we'll go to the console where we can start that repair. Now to change out this switch, we'll need to gain access to the inside of that control housing. So we're going to need to pull that down from the top of the refrigerator. It's held in place with four screws, two that are accessible from in behind, and two more that are located behind this escutcheon. So we'll need to remove that to get at those two screws. So before we begin that, you'll need to remove the two knobs. They may pull straight off. If not, take a putty knife or a flat blade screwdriver and then just gently pry them away. And set those aside. And then using a thin putty knife, we'll go in on the top edge of that escutcheon and gently pry it out to release some plastic tabs that are holding it in place. We use caution in releasing those tabs so we don't want to crack that piece. Some tabs right across the top here that fit into these narrow slotted holes and that's what we're popping those out of. So just set that aside. That gives us access to the two screws on the front. So we'll begin by removing those. And then we'll need to go in to the back of that control panel and remove the last two screws. So next we'll remove the two screws at the back. When we do so, we're just gonna secure that housing to the ceiling. carefully lower that housing down. Take care that we don't damage this mechanical mechanism on the left side here. We just need to be able to access this switch. Now next we'll remove the two wires from that switch. So just take a flat blade screwdriver and pry those terminals. We're loose enough to pull off. The switch is held to that housing with two plastic spring type tabs on the side of it. So you just need to depress those and push the switch out through the front as you're doing that. Maybe you can do it with your fingers. If not, use a flat blade screwdriver and just depress the tab and then push it out straight. Discard the old switch, we'll take our new one, and make sure that we angle that so that the terminals face towards the center. And simply snap it into place. And reattach the two wires. Make sure they're on nice and tight. And now we can put that assembly back in place and install the retaining screws. So next we'll carefully line up that housing. And we'll install the two screws from behind first. And then we'll put the two in the front. Now next we'll install that escutcheon. We'll begin by lining up these tabs across the bottom with those six slotted openings in the bottom portion of that housing. So tuck those in first and then we can press in the top. Once we have it latched in place, we can then reinstall the two knobs. 
The fresh food compartment knob has a wide slot on one side and a narrow one on the other. And if you look in through the opening, you'll see that the control has one wide tang and one narrow one. So line that up and the knob should just press right onto it. Next, we'll take the freezer control knob and it's a D-shaft type knob. So just line up the flat side with the shaft and press it firmly into place. Now, once we have that all done, we can close the refrigerator up. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.